Hello everyone, this is the Bridge for Math coming back at you, Dr. B, with a vicious word problem that often shows up on exams and including final exams. So I know a lot of you get nervous about word problems, let me give you the first tip. Just read it, chill, and try to figure out what's actually happening here. It turns out it's going to be about a quadratic function and we're going to go over things like vertex and maximums. But let's start off with just trying to understand what's happening here. The question says a quarterback tosses a football to a receiver 40, year, 40 yards downfield. Now don't get me wrong, some of you are loving this question because you see a quarterback going out there. Yeah, Dr. V actually did play quarterback one time. But some of you are like, football what? So just imagine somebody throwing something in the air. Now we're, we're not going to get you too hardcore into physics or engineering. But if you imagine something thrown in the air, it's going to go up, and it's going to continue going up, and then it's going to start going down and hit the ground. So I drew this very quick and dirty Pictionary picture of someone throwing what might even be considered a football. Notice the little stitching there. In the air, it reaches a highest point, and then it starts going back down. This is called projectile motion. Projectile motion follows a parabola. It's like a parabolic curve. But here's the key. If you understand when you throw something up in the air, it follows the trajectory of a parabola, then you can start using your math. So let's continue back here. It says the height of this football, the height of this projectile, the thing you throw in the air, f of x. Now notice, let's add some things. f of x. This is a function f of an input x. What do we know about f of x? That's also known as your y value, also known as your output. So that's really important. So the height of the football can be modeled. Notice mathematically modeled or predicted or estimated. Those are some words they usually use in math. And it can be modeled by this function. Negative 0.025x squared plus x plus 6. Some of you might notice Dr. B's color theory. Sexy red here for the number in front of the x squared. Bad boy blue in front of the number x and money green. C. C low green. So 6. Question asks you, what is the ball's maximum height? Then they say, well, how far was the ball thrown away from the quarterback when it actually reached that maximum height? So, one thing that's really important before we go further, if you want to understand a word problem, you have to understand the input and the output. We know the output is the height, height of the football. Literally, height is equal to this. But what does the x represent? What does your input represent? Well, they tell you the input is equal to the distance between the football and the quarterback. So the distance away from the quarterback, or distance downfield has been thrown. So, key word here, maximum height and parabola. So hopefully if you watched my earlier video on finding a vertex, I hopefully vertex screamed at you. A vertex is where you find the maximum value, the maximum output of a function. And did you notice that this seems to be opening up down? We called it down with a frown. And we noticed that this a value is negative. So if you look at a parabola, it opens down when you have a negative value in front of the x squared. So let's continue. You heard me say we need to find the vertex. In an earlier video I did today, it was the, the vertex was written in this beautiful, sexy form for a quadratic. Now, is this formula written in sexy form? Absolutely not. It's actually quite heinous. It's the AX, the AX squared plus BX plus C is not very nice. You can't immediately see the vertex. Good news. Rather than me making you derive this using completing the square, I'm going to give you the vertex formula. Yes, there's a formula, just like the quadratic formula, a nice, easily plug and chug formula to find the vertex. So it has to be of the form AX squared plus BX plus C. The formula, the h value of the vertex, remember h is the x coordinate of the vertex. The formula is negative b divided by 2a. This is just the formula. Don't ask yourself where the negative or the 2 came from. It's just the formula and go with it. We just need to find the b value, which is in front of the x, and find the a value, which is in front of the x squared. Come over here. What's in front of the x? 
1. So that's where my b is going to be 1. What's in front of the x squared? Negative 0 0.025. So I plug it in right where you see the a. So just plug it right into the formula. It's beautiful. Now you just get your calculator out. So h is equal to negative 1 divided by 2 times negative 0 0.025. Real smooth. You do some mathematics with the calculator, you get 20. What does the h represent? It represents your input. It represents your x value. So if you go back to the original question, what does x represent? It represents the distance between the quarterback and the football in yards. So that h value from the vertex tells you the football is 20 yards from the quarterback when it reaches its maximum height. So unfortunately, you just answered part B prior to finding part A. But don't panic. It's okay. We'll, get, we'll find the maximum height. The maximum height is actually in feet. The maximum height is in feet. It's a different unit than the yards. So what is the maximum height? It's the output. It's the K value. It's just plug in whatever you find for your h, plug it into the original function. Well, here's the original function. Wherever you see an x, plug in 20. So we plugged in 20. Wherever we saw the x, that's where you get the 20 squared. x squared. You plug it in. Plus 1 times 20 plus 6. You do this math, and you're going to find the maximum height. So just doing it quickly, 20 squared is 400 times negative 0 0.025, that actually equals negative 10. Plus 20 plus 6, so there's the 26. Negative 10 plus 26 gives you 16. So the maximum height of the football is 16 feet high, 20 yards away from the quarterback. And then what happens when it reaches this maximum height? It starts going down until it goes into the receiver's hands or on the ground. But let's get some intuition. I actually want you to understand what's going on. Look at this formula. Look at this formula, negative 0.025x squared plus x plus 6. That's a formula modeling height. Well, what would happen if x were equal to 0? What would happen if x were equal to 0? Well, first of all, remember, what is x? It's your input. What is your input? Distance in yards from the quarterback in the football. So if the distance between the football and the quarterback is zero, it means it's in the person's hands. It's still connected to the body. What is zero squared times a number? Zero. Plus one times zero? Zero. What's the only thing left standing? Six. And no pun intended, but that would be the height of the football in the quarterback's hands. Gosh, it even makes sense if you break it down. I've seen many professors in physics tests and engineering tests talk about how far did the football get thrown? How far away from the quarterback did it go? Basically, find the x value. How would you do that? Well, you'd assume it hits the ground or it hits another receiver. So you'd basically say the height, I would say, let the height be zero. So it hit the ground. How far did the ball go? Then you'd have to solve a quadratic equation for x, and you can actually see how far the ball went. Just give it your heads up. That's a typical test question that might show up in your future. I hope this helped you conquer finding vertex, applying it to a fun real-world situation. I'm the Bridge for Math. You take care. Go conquer.